You are now rocking with the greatest. You are now rocking with the take. What was the process of putting it together? This is a long process because we have How to long act, did it take? I don't know, you want to say like actually ma mapping it out, I think I want to say it took like a couple months to actually map out what we wanted to do. So we came up with the idea of just creating a, a series. So it's not just this one mixtape. Okay. It's Riders Anonymous. This one's BLBC as far as we felt like I'm born to lose in this society, mm -hmm. but I have to build myself to conquer any task that's before me. Yeah. So that's the name of this mixtape. But then there's gonna be one called the Writers Anonymous. I can't tell you that right now. Wait. So that was the name of the first, the first series. series. The first one. So there's three. Oh, the of first them. series. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, not the first. Well, the first installment to the actual was series. the BL BLBC Born to Lose, Built to Conquer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now I'm feeling you. And is this all part of the Writers Anonymous? Series? Yes. The whole. Okay. Writers dope. Anonymous dope. Series. All right. So We're on the, the same page. One. The second one, we should not say the title. Get <laughs> well. So, so all right, all right. So this first, this first one, the BLBC, this is the one that's featuring the Joker, Ian White. Yep. Yeah. How did you choose these people? Who else is on there? Like, how did that? How did this all come together? Producers, features. Honestly, it's it's. it's how do you get these people in the yeah. studio? Do you get them in the studio? Like. Honestly, is we we work with each other, so um. For the first one, I, I don't think we really got anybody in the studio. It's okay. more like we sent the tracks and we got their vocals and we yep. kind of just mixed it from there. Mm -hmm. So I think creating that whole process was just, it was just organic. Like we just sat down and we were just like, okay, so we just write to music, write to music together, separately, whatever the case, how we're feeling to that point. Mm -hmm. And it's like, we just create. However songs we have, we'll just put it, organize it together at okay. that point. So we would have, we would record songs that's actually for the next mixtape, but we save it for the next one. So it's like, it's really just, just the like... the point of what, how you're feeling at the time, because if I'm angry at something that happened, I'm a right angry. So yep. if the mixtape isn't, you know, something that's aggressive, I'm not going to try to put this on the mixtape or even try to find a way to force it in because it just doesn't fit. So I'm going to just save that for later. But as far as working with other people, the thing that I find that's hard is our chemistry is on point mm -hmm. so I know exactly what he's gonna say type of thing before he even says it on a song I'm like, he's gonna go with this approach yep but if I have a feature now I have to keep in mind that we're gonna have a feature um, Ian White is from Philly how we connected with him was we went to college with Nell and okay. now moved to Philly so he linked us up he's a producer and then we just sent the track out to him he liked it he hopped on the beat we mixed it we mastered it we liked his verse kept it moving that's just how we have to keep it working okay Okay. I thought uh, Farrah was about to hop up for the mic again. But all right, so Born to Lose, Built to Conquer. What are the themes of this one? And going from that, what's the theme of the next installment? The theme of the theme for the next installment would, well, it's, again, it's under the series. I think it's more, um, it's, a, it's, it's a different stage. And we're still in the creating process. Okay. So even some songs where you, there's certain songs where it's like it's it's more um, you vibe more to it rather. Well, you vibe to the first one, but it's like that one's just more like it's more positive. Well, that one, the first one was kind of dark, so to speak, mm -hmm. and the first the second one would be more um, vibrant. Like you'll get different types of tracks on there. Um, and more, more fun, a little more fun. Yeah. Then. So you'll and again we're just still creating. We're still finding new producers. We're still doing that, and that's overall the process of it. I want people to actually get from like the first one. This is where we started off with. And even the whole process of it, moving on to the second one, we have new producers and we're in a different stage in our life and I feel like we all progress anyway. So putting different types of prints on there, it's, that's pretty much overall for the next project. But as far as BLBC was, it was more like we felt, you know, low at a certain point in time. We just, you know, finished college, mm -hmm. you get hit with real life and you're just like, damn. I feel like nothing's supposed to work for me. I'm a black man in America. Yep. Nothing's supposed to work for me. Everybody's dying. Somebody that you know in the past, friends from high school, it just hurts. And it's just like, this is what I put to write. This is what I present to you. Mm -hmm. That was BLBC. I was born to lose, but now I'm trying to build myself up to conquer and take over. And now the next one is going to be more on, this was my dream, and this is how we're going about it. So what's good with positive. the title? I don't want to say the title. It has something to do with dreams. Okay. Of course. We'll go with that. Of course. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Dreams and nightmares. No, no, that's Meek Mills. That's Meek Mills land. Um, what else could we get with dreams? What could we? So look at it this way. <laughs> look at it this way. It is about dreams, and it's a more positive feel to it. So we just leave it at that. No title yet. Okay. Writers Anonymous too. We believe you. <laughs> we believe you. So you guys say you're built to conquer, right? Yeah. So how are you guys building up your hype? How are you guys building up the the YBS? Brand. Name. Brand, yeah. How the you, nation. I want to know, like, yeah, like, how you guys promoting your stuff. I see your videos. You guys doing shows. What's, what's good? Of course. So, Speaking of shows, we have actually one on March 26th mm -hmm. after that mm -hmm. um, in Pawtucket. It's called Unsigned Hype. A couple artists there from Rhode Island. My thing was, like how you're saying, building a brand is mm -hmm. very hard here. So hard. the main thing is, because, you know, people here... Yeah, when you say here, what do you mean? Rhode Island. Not, not, Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Bennett Radio. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I just wanted to, Rhode Rhode Island, you to say you know, people Rhode in Rhode Island. Rhode Island, just how it is. It's mm -hmm. like, they like it, they support it, or they don't like it, that's fine. Not everybody's going to like everything. Mm -hmm. Or um, finally, it's, they like it, but they're afraid to say something about it because they're, you know, focused on what other people think. I honestly don't even think it's that they're scared to support and it's what other people think. I just think that it's <laughs> not in people's, uh, it's not within them to support others. They don't understand, you know, the supporting and, and, and bringing support somebody's somebody craft to a higher level. So they might see it and they might say, oh, that's dope, but they don't really understand, you know, what support actually means and, there's and a that's thin what line it is between that and hate because mm -hmm. they'll be quick to throw the hate you, you know understand? yeah i understand i seen a question the other day i seen it was like what's worse the hate or the fake support mm. that's, that's deep what do you guys think <laughs> um, is it the hate or the fake support because I, in my thing i think the fake support is worse than the hate because the hate i mean Somebody's responding, you know, somebody's putting that out there and you know it when you get a response That means you can react to yeah. it, you know, so that's what I how and I feel but entitled to their opinion yeah. True. And I like yeah. criticism all types. I always whenever we put out a video if I'm like direct sending it to somebody I'll be like, let me know what you truly think about it mm -hmm. I don't care if it's good or bad because that's how I feel. This is my art. I like it you may not like it, but that's how you feel about it. Yeah. But I'm able to build from that. Like, you give me a decent response. Like, you can't just be like, oh, I don't like it. And just keep it moving. You're like, I don't like it because you see what you did here and what you said here. Give, give me something to build from. So I, I agree with you. I'd rather hate than fake support because fake support is like you're just going behind somebody's back and not really telling them how you truly feel. And I think criticism makes people better overall. I mean, 100%. Whether it's good or bad, constructive criticism is always good. Whether you say you hate it, but well, why do you hate it? Um, well, because this didn't appeal to me and things like that. Okay, well, then this is something that I learned mm -hmm. and um, hopefully in creating you might like something new. So it's like at least like I like hearing people rather than just not hearing any type of response. For sure. You know what I mean? I agree with you guys. Um, right now, I think I think it's time. I think we should play that track. Um, you guys already know what it is. It's Better Nodes Radio. Uh, we got YBS in the studio right now. Do you guys want to introduce this track, the BLBC, Born to Lose, Built to Conquer? Of course. This is YBS. Yo, Skylar. Yo, Bags. The song is called BLBC, Born to Lose, Built to Conquer from the first mixtape. Ah! 